What is up my YouTube fans? I'm here with another install video on the Jeep and I actually just passed my technician ham amateur radio license yesterday. So woohoo, yay to me. Not gotten my call sign yet, but uh, don't worry, I won't transmit or anything like that until I actually get my, uh, my call sign. But just wanted to go ahead and give you that update. And as a present to myself, I went ahead and got myself a Yaesu FTM 400 XDR dual band transceiver. Now I've been wanting this for a couple reasons. One, I want a good hard mounted system in the Jeep for basically a Jeep to Jeep or Toyota to Toyota, whoever I'm talking to, communications while we're off road. And also so I have something for SHTF situations if, uh, if I'm ever off the grid. Plus it just kind of seems kind of pretty interesting to check out. I did a little research, I think I like this one. Um, I've got all the supplies I need. I went down to Ham Radio Outlet down in Denver and they helped me pick up all the supplies I needed recommended stuff. I did get a little bit of a extra antenna cable just in case I needed it, um, but I think where I'm going to be mounted in the Jeep I should be good. So this is going to be not really so much a how-to video, but just kind of how I did it. Um, if you guys have any extra comments or anything like that, put them down in the comments to see if I can adjust anything, move everything around. Keep in mind that I'm not trying to get like absolutely like every little bit of wattage and perfection out of this. I just need something that's going to be useful and work pretty well. So. Yeah, other than that, let's go ahead and get started building this and trying to put it in the Jeep and figure out where I'm going to put everything. I'm here in the Jeep and this is kind of what I'm planning here. One of my newest installs that I got is this nice Molly overhead panel or overhead, overhead shelf and panel from American Adventure Labs. This thing is awesome. You can go ahead and store stuff up here. I plan on like putting like maybe like a little books or maps up here so that way they're not floating around the, uh, the cabin and you know going around on the floor. So. But I also wanted this mainly for communication, so I can set up the uh, the ham radio up here, so it has plenty of ventilation. It's up out of the way. It's not off. It's not on the ground. So we're gonna try to figure out how to set this up. My thought right now is to try to put the main controller up here, and it looks like I just took the top off, and it looks like it does fit up here on the inside. I'll show you that right up here in between here and the uh, the freedom top. So that will be good. And then I'll try to put the display. I haven't decided here, I'd really like it up here so that I can see and click on it, but it does have a GPS in it. So if I don't put it here, I may actually put it here in the uh, this little center bucket up here. So I haven't decided yet, but it's also gonna depend on the cables, wiring and whatnot. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get the, uh, the main radio section up here and then we'll go from there, okay? probably gonna be a multi-day process because I'm doing this in between a uh, in between work days so I'm gonna be working on it a little bit here and there but we should get done and sh hopefully I will make it look nice As you can tell, I kind of changed things up. I went ahead and put it here, hanging in the center, simply because, once again, there's not enough room up here for it to sit. And I don't know, maybe it's just the asymmetricalness of me. I just didn't like it right there. Um, plus the speaker is gonna be a lot louder here and it'll have access to all the controls if I need to. And I can uh, nicely route the wires up and over through the tray here, um, but, the control panel and the mic and stuff like that all plug in right here so we'll see if i don't like it i can try to flip it and and move it up here or even change it around there is an option that i can go underneath the seat so i think this is going to be a trial and error here i'm going to kind of quasi temporarily permanently install it right here and then go out and test it a few times and see where i like it if i need to move it then i'll move it winter is definitely setting in it's probably about 20 30 degrees colder than the uh, the last day I filmed but we're gonna continue on here we're gonna try to go ahead and get power routed to the um, I guess the main uh, you know unit of the radio and then also try to get the antenna installed and then the last thing we'll have to do is actually get the head unit installed unfortunately that mounts not gonna be coming until Thursday but I might be able to kind of rig up something just temporarily so let's get going
so I think I got everything kind of quasi temporarily installed I ended up putting the screen right here just because I kind of wanted to play around with it see how I like it um, I thought that I could either mount it here or up here um, with a couple of a uh, ram mounts to kind of push it forward right about there so we will see um, I got to go find another ram mount that I can bolt right there and kind of play around with it I've also got this magnetic mount right here that I can just click that up to. Everything is hooked up and ready to go. As you can see here, I've got it on the weather station just to make sure that it works. This hazardous weather outlook is for portions of Panama, and, uh, Alaska, yeah. East Central Wyoming. We are in a uh, weather warning right now just for, uh, just for wind, so. I'm gonna go ahead and start playing around with this thing. I wanna move some stuff around, obviously, when I get done just to kind of see where I like things. Like I said, I might move the this around. I might move this up here, who knows? Definitely I'll clean up the uh, the wiring just a little bit. It's still uh, a little uh, kind of all over the place, but that's okay. Ah, there we go, cool. Um, but yeah, so far everything is working out pretty well. Now I just gotta figure out how to uh, use this bad boy because this is a lot more radio than I actually need, but I wanna be able to kind of grow into this hobby and be able to have all the uh, the features that this thing can use so all right well i will continue on from here Woo. i went ahead and rearranged a few things like i said i was going to do previously in the video just because i want to test things out see where i want everything I actually move the main head unit up here up on top instead of it being centered on the dash here just gonna i want to see how this plays out how that works I kind of like where it sits up here. It's like at eye level, but it's not out of the way and it's not blocking the uh, the windshield. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I keep it up here on the, uh, the overhead molly panel or should I put it back on the dash? I don't know, but it is uh, working pretty well. I've got everything up here. Let's go and give it a shout out here. See if everything works, right? Calling CQ, calling CQ. This is Kilo Kilo 7, Bravo Papa Bravo. See if anybody responds. I doubt it, but we'll try. As you can see, I've got a, um, just like a magnetic mount up here for it. So I'm pretty happy with everything so far. I've still got a lot of learning to do with this radio there is it's well beyond my capabilities and what i can and can't use but still want to go ahead and try it and check it out so thank you guys for following along as i installed this bad boy here you can see everything is all set up nice and neat and i will still go ahead and see you in the next video and yeah we'll go from there so i'll talk to you guys later bye